Happy Taco Tuesday! Yes! Unless it's not Tuesday. We don't know what day we're posting this yet, but any day of the week can be taco night. That's right. Uh, I've got Laura Fuentes in my kitchen again. We did a collab about a month ago. It was super fun, portable breakfasts, and she is back, and we are gonna have a taco fiesta to celebrate her brand new cookbook. It's the Taco Tuesday cookbook, 52 tacos to make the Tuesdays every, every week. week. Ah, yes. you're so clever. I just love tacos. It's not that I'm that clever. No, she's actually obsessed. She gets, gets like a little bit too excited about tacos. We are making two variations. One for our vegan viewers, the curry cauliflower tacos. And the other is the quick Hawaiian pork tacos. Yes. Both delicious. And, and they both use the pineapple salsa. So you, if you meal prep, and I know you probably do if you follow me or follow Alicia, you know, you can just make your salsa and then use it Monday on the mindless taco, yep. Tuesday on the taco Tuesday. Very versatile. And if you haven't already from our last collab, checked out Laura's channel, youtube.com slash mommables. Link is in the description box. Go check it out. Cauliflower. Right here. Well, this is oil. That's cauliflower. <laughs> First up is our cauliflower tacos. All right, cauliflower goes into a big dish, baking yep. dish or pan with some oil. Yep, and all I did is chopped up the cauliflower head into small florets, Yep. or you can buy them pre-cut. Yes, but even when I buy them pre-cut, I you still, still chop them smaller. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so we have curry, curry powder. powder. Yep. Okay. And a little bit of salt and okay. give it a toss. <gasps> I love the color of curry powder. And then it makes your cauliflower really golden and toasty. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, into the oven. <music> Quick Hawaiian pork tacos. What do we got? So we're gonna put a little bit of oil at the bottom of our pan and we're going to brown our pork loin, which I've cubed so it cooks faster. If you cut it in smaller pieces, it cooks faster and that's why I love, like, the, all the recipes in the book are under 30 minutes or slow cooker. Less ingredients. Less ingredients. And you can actually pull off saying, I'm going to commit to having Taco Tuesday every week. Right, my people are all about less ingredients, aren't you? So now that it started seasoning, we're gonna add the taco seasoning to the pork. And you can make your own taco seasoning or you can just use, you store know, bought. homemade, uh, store-bought or whatever. Ooh, it smells good. The pork is cooked, and we're gonna add some pineapple to it. Okay. So the pineapple is going to <gasps> sort of caramelize. It just turned into a magic smell. But the second you put the pineapple in there, it changed into a new thing. I have a lot of pineapple in this book. Mm. I say a lot, but quite a few recipes, because I love the way it creates a sauce. Yep. It sweetens the dish, you don't need a little seasoning. All right, so now that the pineapple is here through, your taco is done. Your taco's done. We have all of our components ready to assemble. First, let's tell you about this salsa. So I love pico de gallo. Yes. And as you saw, we used pineapple in our pork tacos, but pico de gallo, it gets elevated to a new level when you add some fresh pineapple to it and it becomes a pineapple salsa. So this has, you know, tomatoes, onion, jalapeno, cilantro. All the other things that you would, yeah. Regular yeah. pico de gallo plus Pineapple. Yeah, so you can buy a store-bought, mix it, and then oh. it's awesome to top your tacos. It looks so good, so are we gonna make some? Yes, yeah, so the okay. first one, why don't you grab a tortilla? Yeah. And this is our curry cauliflower, and then you wanna like just add some on the top. And so this is completely vegan as is. Uh, you could also, if you're vegetarian, add some sour cream or cheese, or you I mean, could use my cashew sour cream that I made a few months ago. Yeah, you're gonna link that below mm -hmm. the video? I will link it. So in the book, I have an entire section of um, vegetarian recipes, like meatless recipes. Oh, cool. They're great for your budget. So, so even if you're not vegan, you could still do Meatless Monday. That's right. Meatless Monday. Tuesday. Taco, meatless Tuesday. Meatless mm -hmm. Taco Tuesday. All right, All right, so are you gonna add some sour cream? Yeah. Cheers to our tacos. Curry and cauliflower. Really ooh, I there. love the pineapple and the salsa. I'm such a taco with a fork eater, because look at me. Like, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about the pork one? The pork one, same thing, grab a tortilla. This one has a little bit more juicy stuff in it, so if you ever wanted to build, like, say you have leftovers and you wanted to do, like, a rice bowl the next day, 
you know, to stretch them out. You just build the rice, save the sauce, and then you pour it over your rice and vegetables. That's a great idea. This one, I like to sprinkle some cotija cheese over the pork so it kind of melts and it's warm. Mm. But you can also use um, goat cheese or feta or cheese. Feta. Yeah. yeah. So just you just want a sharp cheese like. And then do you also add the salsa? Yes. So what I love about these two recipes is that you could, like we said earlier, prep your salsa ahead of time, have yep. it in the fridge, and use it for both tacos, over salads, over omelets, uh, avocado on burrito toast, bowl. burrito bowls. I mean, like this pineapple salsa. Oh, well, mine is like a lot more stuffed than yours. You know, I know. I hope it's not gonna fall apart. So the key to not having a taco fall apart is to pre-warm your tortillas. Whoops! All right, ready? That is a flavor bomb. As my friend Guy Fieri would say, taking me to Flavor Town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the salty bite of the cotija cheese is perfect with the pork and the sweetness of the pineapple. It's so good. And you know what? If you're eating kind of low carb and a lot of, a lot of your audience mm -hmm. does, instead of using um, tortillas, you could just use these in mm. lettuce cups mm -hmm. over, over lettuce, over a salad, mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is good just plain, but right. paired with the cotija, so good. So good. Let's talk about where they can get those recipes. Inside of the Taco Tuesday cookbook. It's available when? In August of 2018, but you can totally pre-order it now. Yes. Make sure you get your first copy. Ooh. Lots of bonuses if you pre-order. Ooh, you can pre-order with the link in the description box below. And all of the recipes that we shared today are there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. If you want more collabs with Laura and I, uh, be sure to let us know in the comments what you want us to make. Subscribe to Laura's channel at youtube.com slash mommables. If you haven't already, check out all of her content. Yep, and I'll be back, visit you, and make more tacos, or whatever it is that or you guys like to eat. maybe I'll visit New Orleans. You should come to the studio. We can eat beignets. <gasps> we will see you next time, and remember, especially when it comes to a taco fiesta, yep. it's all a matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a matter of mind over munch. We did Yay! it! Yay! These yep. are seriously delicious.